ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਪਿਆਰਿਓ ਟੁਡੇ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਲਰਨ ਟੁਗੇਦਰ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੱਦੀ ਆਫ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਰਾਮਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਲੈਟਸ ਸਟ੍ਰੇਟ ਗੈਟ ਇਨਟੂ ਇਟ ਪਰਸਨਲੀ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਟੈਸਟ ਆਫ ਇੰਡੋਰੈਂਸ ਬੇਸਿਕਲੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਹੈ ਟੂ ਬ੍ਰਾਈਟ ਐਂਡ ਇੰਟੈਲੀਜੈਂਟ ਸਨ ਇਨ ਲਾਸ ਵਿਚ ਵਾਸ ਬਾਈ ਰਾਮਾ ਜੀ ਵਾਸ ਮੈਰੀ ਟੂ ਬੀਬੀ ਤਾਨੀ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਰਾਮਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਵਾਸ ਮੈਰੀ ਟੂ ਬੀਬੀ ਪਾਨੀ ਜੀ basically what happened was firstly it is very important to note that sri guru amar das ji maharaj loved both his son and nos they actively participated in constructing the boli sahib and inspired others to join some sikhs believe that rama ji would become the next guru others believe that ram das ji was the chosen one now salvation requires conforming to rules but love transcends these rules almighty becomes evident in those absorbed in his will and love simran and seva without love yield materialistic returns not spirituality remember materialistic not spirituality so of course maharaj wanted a test for love for the almighty so the speaker plans to test the individuals and maharaj this outcome will determine maharaj successor the test was basically a bench construction task by sri by pai rama ji and sri ram das ji so guru ji instructed pai rama ji and sri ram das ji to build a concrete bench at two locations for monitoring boli sahib construction they were given one day to complete the bench based on verbal instructions from guru amar das ji after receiving instructions they were on the bench construction all day long on the first day pai rama ji on the first day pai rama ji's bench was looking good guru amar das ji returned in the evening and criticized the bench built by rama for poor quality and rough surface Guruji instructed Rama to demolish the bench and rebuild it with a smooth surface. Rama defended his efforts stating he followed Guruji's specifications and aimed to make a good sitting place for darshan of Bulli Sahib. On the other hand, Sri Ram Sahib, Sri Ram Das Ji. Guruji drew a line on the ground to explain a, a point. Ram Das after listening demolished the bench and asked for forgiveness for his misunderstanding. Sri Ram Das ji bowed and stood Guru ji found the bench unsuitable and instructed its demolition again It is important to note the differences between the two reactions Next on the second day Rama's initial efforts were belie- would that Rama ji believed that he had constructed the bench well and found it a beautiful sitting place He struggled with the idea of demolishing it again to build a better one despite rama's efforts guruji insisted on building a new bench the next morning rama and ramdas started rebuilding the benches as instructed guruji inspected the bench and found it unsatisfactory instructing rama to demolish and reconstruct it again on the second day on the other hand in sri Gur- in sri ramdas ji's area Guru ji found the bench improperly constructed and instructed its demolition and reconstruction. Guru ji used his stick again to ex- explain the instructions. The Ram Das ji's reaction was completely different when compared to Rama's. Ram Das ji acknowledged his mistake and requested forgiveness and further instructions from Guru ji. On the third day by Rama ji. Now Rama reflects on Guruji's forgetfulness but insists he followed specifications. He receives praise for his work and questions the demolition of the bench. But then Guruji instructs him and insists on building a new bench using Rama's intelligence. Despite refusal, Rama and Ram Das ji con- start constructing new benches. And again, Guruji criticizes Rama for not following the specifications correctly. Rama is told he misunderstood the instructions despite explanations on the third day ram das felt ashamed and humbled himself before guruji guruji expressed frustration over ram das ji 
repeated construction and mistakes. Ram Das, Ram Das plead and admitted his lack of knowledge and frequent mistakes. He asked for forgiveness and guidance, acknowledging his limitations. Ram Das Ji showed humility by wrapping a cloth around his neck, symbolizing servitude. Now, Sangaji, before we step into the next part, it is very important to note the differences in the reaction of two. One is humble and one is blaming. <clears throat> Guruji's philosophy and Bibi Paniji's response. Guruji fought to old Ram Das's imminent departure and reflected on the perceivable nature of the body. Bibi Paniji, fully trusting Guruji, humbly accepted her fate and pledged to follow his commands and fulfill her role as a widow. Guruji blesses Ram Dasji, stating his body will maintain and meditate on the Almighty. Guruji declares Ram Dasji's life has ended and offers his remaining life to him. Guruji assigns 6 years, 11 months and 18 days of Guru Amar Dasji's Guru Amar life to Ram Dasji, emphasizing unity and meditation. The manifestation of the fourth Guru Nanak Dev Ji on Padran Sudhi 1631 or in CE 1574. The preparations for the inauguration. Guru Amar Das Ji's final instructions to Pai Peluji. Find a nice coconut quickly to be saved from death and desires and gain happiness. Form a bath for Ram Das and dress him in beautiful clothes while singing Gurbani. Prepare for Amar Das Ji's departure as his time to merge with the formless has come. The actions taken. Ram Das Ji was bathed, was bathed and dressed in new clothes as instructed. Guru Ram Das Ji welcomed Ram Das. The inauguration of Sri Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj. Guru Ram Das Ji received a radiant spiritual light and 18 miraculous powers. Baba Buddha Ji applied the tilak. Guru Amar Das Ji offered a tray with coconut and five pesa. Panja pesa. Guru Amar Das Ji circled Guru Ram Das Ji three times, touched his forehead to his feet and transferred the throne. The event was occur that had occurred was on Padran Sudhi Tera 1631. Guru Amar Das Ji seated Guru Ram Das Ji on the Guruship throne. Now the announcement, how the news got out. Guru Ram Das Ji had instructed Sikhs to gather in the Guru's Darbar. Both his sons, Baba Mohan Ji and Baba Mohri Ji were also present. Honoring Guru Ram Das Ji, Guru Amar Das Ji asked everyone to bow before him for his humility and tolerance. By Belu Ji's task, Guru Ji instructed by Belu Ji to call Mohan Ji and others to come quickly as per his orders. Finally, the family gathering and blessings. The family gathered with Bibi Pani Ji. Paniji requested blessings for future sacrifices to uphold truth and justice and Guruji's declaration was that Guruji will remain within the Sodhi clan. Future Gurus will face challenges as Maya will enter the house of Guru Nanak likened to an stop, unstoppable river. Now, Sangaji, there you go. You have learned just very little, just the basic of the true story of how Sir Guru Ram Das Ji attained Guru Gaddi. To know more, make sure to join, to join your local Sangat. And remember, to know your Guru is to love your Guru. Vahe Guruji ka khalsa, Vahe Guruji ki fateh.